Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, I voted for this bill in committee, and I intend on voting for it uh, on the floor here in a few minutes. But I wanted to offer uh, an opinion on this bill and my rationale behind my vote. I want to start with a fundamental supposition that I think is worthy of being questioned, and that is the supposition, the belief by critics of constitutional carry that criminals obey the laws. What evidence do you have that criminals obey the law? Show me the evidence that criminals obey the law in what city, in what county, in what state, in what country, in what continent, on what planet do criminals obey the law? Show me the evidence. Show me the crimes that were not committed by guns, with guns. Show me the empty prisons. The belief that we can pass a law and the criminals will obey that law is very naive, is very foolish, and it's very dangerous. There's a second supposition that exists related to this bill, and that is the belief that if constitutional carry passes and if a law-abiding citizen has access to a gun, that suddenly that law-abiding citizen is going to be a threat to other citizens. I believe that, too, is a very naive, dangerous, and even irresponsible belief. 31 states have done this to some extent, and as the sponsor has pointed out, the proverbial sky did not fall when it happened. To those who say that this bill goes too far, I say that this bill does not go far enough. A constitutional right should not be suppressed, repressed, restricted, or registered. A constitutional right ought to be restored. To the purists who are in favor of constitutional carry, I understand that this bill doesn't meet your definition of constitutional carry. And there may be the purist out there who believes that you go all or nothing. You vote against this bill because it isn't what you want. A pragmatist will look at this bill as progress. It moves us in the direction that we want to go. And if there had been 600-some bills before this body over the past few years since we did this permit process, perhaps there will need to be 600 more to get us to where we ought to be. And that is the restoration of a constitutional right that should not be denied the citizens of Tennessee. I'm going to vote for this. I vote for it as a gain. I vote for it as a move in the right direction. Do I think our work is finished here? Absolutely not. And so we press on. But I thank the sponsor for bringing this bill. I hope that this bill passes, and then I hope we come back again and again and again until we restore constitutional carry, true constitutional carry, to the citizens of Tennessee. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.